All right, I'm back with another week's um, latest. Whoops, get this right. Week's arrivals, um, starting with the the bad one, uh, which is oh gosh, I forgot to slice the bit open so you could see it easier. Uh, anyway, so as you can see, this is how Toll delivered a envelope with cardboard around it. It could have, you know, should write on, if you're sending it, write on that do not bend. I mean, like, seriously, with the, anyway. So, I don't know what the post on this one, I'll have to check it up, but I, I think it's the, whatever. They decided to send it, I just agreed to whatever somebody decides that's what it's going to cost for me. I just I say, look, put hard cardboard around both. So, look at this shit. Alright, that is annoying the crap out of me straight away. So, I've got a damaged comic. Two of them, even. All right, so Phoenix Saga X Men cover, and then I've got this, and it's a good thing these are old comics because I mean, you know, I mean, old in the sense that like, you know, they're not like brand new because I'd be really really pissed off. So I can just I guess I can just put them between, um, I can put them between, say, uh, a couple graphic novels and all flatten it out right but if it was like in a you know with, with a hardback and brand new it'll be crushed it'll be useless i mean not useless i mean like the price would drop but hey i got um forge i think this is my second cover but i just i love this cover it's just an excellent um cover and like i said i've said previously forge is one of my favorite characters from way back i enjoy reading about him because that's the series i grew up with originally with the x-men well started with all right, so next up, oh, uh, yep, so cool thing, we've got a card, we appreciate your business, Atlantis uh, Books, so it's not really their fault about it, but they did what I asked, which was putting between cards, and it's basically the fault of Toll, all right, for having a bent, because it's just a, like, it's an envelope, I mean, you know, they don't know what's inside it, so I guess, but still, you gotta, you know. Anyway, next up, oh, I'll leave the, that one to last. Next up is Mr. Logan Kennedy. Check out the shoe box. This is from that, um, uh, claim it sale, I think it was. This is the way I like to pack things when I'm sending, like, properly, right, really. I mean, I don't sell that much at all if ever, and so, like, he really did a good job, like, I mean, you know, I paid for postage, so, I mean, well, which is what, standard, isn't it, where you pay for postage, nobody claims to post anymore, so this is a whole pack from the claim sale, um, let me see, good, you know, shoebox, nice little shoebox, and this is a lot of comics, I think it's about 28 in here, this is probably the most I've bought at one time. And there's some really cool ones in here. And I'm quite excited to see what I actually got. Because <laughs> I just went off like the covers and stuff. And I thought, oh yeah, that looks cool. I remember that. I remember this. And so I bought it. Um, but yeah. All right, look at that. Isn't that a cool cover? I've got um, a... Um, oh, i got a box toy. Uh, which which is dead, uh, not Deadpool, Daredevil, on a perch. But I also have, oh shit, <laughs> he dropped this, this porcelain thing. But I also have, um, they used to come out in these little, um, gosh, mess around. Yeah, so they used to come out in these little figure factory things. And I had a, not, not this one in my hand, but I don't know what the other one is, but, uh, but, um, it's like um, a, it had a figure that had come in pieces in a box, and so you just put it together. I don't know if you guys remember this, but it was really cool back in the day. You didn't know what you got. Some of them you knew, but it was these are really cool things. Like, yeah. But I kept all of those boxes. But here's what I mean about like, like look at that. Isn't that cool? That's what I mean. Like I was like I, I remember the cover kind of things. Like, just check it out. Like, you can see like. Um, Spidey on a perch like that on the corner thing, and then now you got Batman like on his thing. Isn't that cool? 
And this is made out of porcelain or something. It's pretty, or lead, I don't know, but it's pretty freaking heavy as, right? It's like probably about, oh, probably pound of butter. Feels really heavy. But anyway, pound of butter, I mean, I'm like 500 grams or something like that. I'm going to put this away safely because I almost broke it. Just freaking moving it out of the cabinet. Okay. Psylocke was sitting there. Standing there, I think. So that's cool. I mean, look at it. This is uh, 444, February 1990, Batman, and I wasn't even into Batman back then. That's a crazy thing. Like, I only got into Batman, like, after I got tired of, you know, of basic, um, just the crossovers, constant crossovers. This is really cool. Batman in prison, um, Bruce Wayne murderer, 599, Ed Brubaker, the guy who um, did Bucky um, Winter Soldier, which he didn't even, you know, get mentioned or something like that. Or didn't get paid for whatever. And this is Wormwood. I have a Wormwood graphic novel, or I have singles somewhere. Um, and I, it's a Garth Ennis. It's a nice, beautiful, nice rap cover. Uh, this is, um, I think if I remember right, and Jason Burroughs, uh, this is from Avatar. If I remember right, uh, uh, it's about Jesus and the devils. You know, like the sons, son of the devil and Jesus. It's a quite a cool story, and I like just um, the whole concept. I have a poster, uh, one with a poster in it as well. Um, all right, some more DC. So we got Katana number 10. Cool cover. Uh, Innocenti. Innocenti, as you know, is an amazing um, writer, editor. I think she was later on editor at um, Marvel Comics. And she used to work on, if I remember right, she used to work on um, on the X-Men books. That's where I know her from. She's like, I'm a great writer, right? Uh, it's Stood up right up there with like um as editor and so on with um Karen Berger. Oh, yeah, might as well call that out. Uh, Karen Berger and Shelley Bond, as I always talk about, because I think they're the greatest um things that ever happened to DC Comics Vertigo line. Okay, so this is 23 The Lost World of the Warlord. I have a warlord somewhere, I think I might have number one. All right, uh, now you've got number 16 Supergirl and the uh, Legion. This is before uh, this is a Wade book. I think this is when Mark Wade jumped over onto um, 06, went over to work for, um, uh, after I think it was after the Ultimates went over and did, worked for DC. All right, so you got Harrier Comics, one of the old ones. This is number one, uh, UK 70p release, Red Fox. Don't know much about the character, but it's one of the old comics, so I was like, yeah, I'll get one of those. All right, now we come down to uh, that Wolverine number 57. Is that Boom Boom? Or is that Jubilee? I can't tell. But yeah, man, covers were so cool back then. All right, so you got 57, 54, Shatterstar. You know, they just, it was funny, they just killed Shatterstar so easy and um, deadful. Okay, 53 of Wolverine. All right, Space Time Mojo 2. Uh, 22 of Wolverine. Um, now this is, gosh, this goes back in the day. This is 1990. Spoilers. This one here, I remember quite well. I used to own this when it first dropped. Uh, and, um, I, yeah, I actually bought this. I remember buying this. And when, at, um, I think it was Heroes. Was it Heroes? I can't remember. I think it was, was it Mark one downstairs? Anyway. In Auckland. So number 16 of Wolverine. Yep. Johannes. Um, so that was number 12. This is Johannes Stone Affair. Six of six. So that was two of two. And that's six of six. So now I've got to try to get the rest. But I mean, I remember reading that whole series. And I remember having that as well. So it was a time when I, yeah, when I was heavily buying like about 10, 20 comics a week. Every Friday or Thursday. I think I, did I, get that? I, think I got paid Thursday after work. So straight into... Was it Friday? Could have been Friday. Anyway, I was straight into town on the bus, straight into shops. Music and comics was my life. Me life, me life. So like this, it came out twice. Um, I think it was by week, um, by monthly or something. So you got a little mid mid November and you got a late September, you know, kind of thing. Um, on that. So another one here is Ultraverse. Uh, this is number one firearm, and it's got a card, man. That's a cool thing about this. It comes with a card. Let's see if it's open. Like, I mean, if, if it's, if the bag's open, because 
you know, I've got a, I think I've got a couple of ultra, um, ultra cards, ultra, ultraverse cards somewhere, but they're loose. So let's see if this is open. No, look at that. It's actually sealed. Isn't that cool? So actually, you have a piece of, um, you know, Malibu Comics ultraverse. So ultra, um, if I remember right, um, Malibu Comics was what, um, I, who it was, was it Jim Lee? No. Or was it Liefeld that went over to work with? And they did, I think that's how he lost his, um, I might have actually owned this one um, previously. And um, yeah, I think that's what he went over and um, and that's how I think he lost his, um, what was it, his um, Wildcats thing or something. And plus, do you know there's a Wildcat TV series? Uh, animated series? I never knew there was one out. So I'm, I'm trying to, find out where i can get it from so i can watch it all right so this is 92 warlord return of the lost world return to the world lost world of warlord this is number one of six um look at the artwork this reminds me of somebody's artwork i think this this sort of looks like um constantino's artwork yeah he's he's working on templeton torn with me all right so now you got team um team one wildcats that cool artwork or what is uh now let's see this is it's jim so this is a wildcats with jim lee's oh no no it wasn't jim lee's this is robinson and johnson so yeah i need to find out more about that okay so that's wildcats uh team one number one and this is this is um seagull so there must be a second volume oh no this team one watch uh storm watch okay so this is storm watch and that's wildcats that cool covers or what? Um, I don't think, I think this one's a wraparound. So let's open it up and have a little wraparound. And mind you, these are comics that I haven't seen for years. And um, back in the day, I wasn't, like, I remember having a Wildcats comic and or actually buying it. Oh, no wraparound. I thought it was a wraparound. Feels like it should have been a wraparound. Maybe it's like another, like the, um, like a Varen cover is another here, you know, that joins in, are uh, connecting to it. Oh, 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 look, this is what it is. How's that? It's a wrap, it's, it's a connecting cover, not a wraparound. And I've been thinking about connecting covers, as I mentioned on here, um, you know, about how I'm looking at doing a, my chibi connecting cover for Templeton Torn. And I'll probably do that for all my covers, but I mean, I don't, because I don't do the artwork inside anymore. So I'm just going to let other people do the artwork inside and I'm just going to do the connecting covers or something, stuff like that, or just variant covers. So isn't that cool? I mean, that is, I mean, that's just, just freaking awesome. Let me see what year is this from. This is, this is Jim Lee art, early Jim Lee art. All right. Uh, this is, um, let me see, Gen 10, 95, first printing, 95. Right. And these, this one's pretty good cup. Um, it's got a little, it's got, there you go. Too many, um, too many things in one place. So this has only got a little ding in there, but that's about it. Little turned corner, but yeah, it's it's been really well looked after. Um, okay, let's move into Strange Killings. Now I like Strange Killings. It's a good series by Warren Ellis. Uh, it's also from Avatar, Avatar Comics. Uh, you know they do a lot of mature writing, and I I just yeah, I I really like a lot of Avatar stuff. They have a real you know real mature sense of um, what, I guess what, um, kind of like more, probably like M15 up, you know, they have, so it's a bit more gore, Strange Killings are a really good series, if you haven't read that, it's pretty cool, it's, this is just one of, one version, so this is Strong Medicine, so it's volume two, but um, this is a cool cover, they probably get banned in, in Germany because of having that uh, swastika in the background. Okay, so here's here's a cool one. So this is, I think this is two versions of that. I mean, not two versions. So I ended up actually getting two covers, um, two copies of that red box, right? Come on, don't get damaged while I'm doing this thing. Right, there we go. So, right, so I have now two versions of the same comic, two covers. Different grades, I guess, but I'm not really too worried about the grades at this point because I just like the fact that they're old, yeah. They're quite old, old comics. I mean, seriously, I wonder what you. Oh, that one's open, so I might as well grab that one out. 
so what year this is so um black and white story and art fox edition of um additional dialogue mike lewis interior decoration carl cropley lettering melvin um if you can see that melvin um james but check out the treasure of uh the thud <laughs> it's cool Look at that drawn. i mean like freaking awesome all right so yeah this is kind of like what you um it, what is it oh gosh i saw it today i can't remember but um yuzugi jump jimbo or something like yeah it reminds me of that sort of artwork that's why i kind of got it i thought it was pretty cool all right now we're going into some more cool stuff again with the ultraverse all right um, so with the Ultraverse, now we got another sealed, sealed comic book with a card. Solitaire card inside. Malibu, $2.50. So this is about 95 right? If I remember right. 90, 90 90 95 And um, yeah, man, I'm just going to leave it like that. Um, you know, how cool is that? Black bag. So black bag, uh, bags are not new, you know. I mean, we saw a whole bunch of stuff come out lately. I mean, over the few years. All right, so this is number one in a four-issue series, six-month series. Doug Munch, Munch, as you know, is an awesome Batman writer. This is Epic Comics number one, 1984. Quite an old one, very good condition for that. Um, yeah, check out the artwork at the back. Um, this is um, Thomas Yeats' artwork. But, I mean, let's have a look at the artwork actually in the book. So this is one of four. And, like, I mean, seriously, it's like, I would say it's very fine near mint. Uh, condition but check out the artwork man i think my um i think that this is comes close the artwork comes close to the way my um gosh what it is my alienated alliance artists work doing because there's a sci-fi series as well so that's why it reminds me of that and it's just yeah it's just such a cool um cool art and the colors are amazing i'm gonna have to um See if I can find some digital so I can read all the rest of the series. So this is six. And I I know Doug Munch would, you know, you can never go wrong, wrong with these older uh, writers who actually love, you know, know their trade. You know, their whole careers and their whole life has been spent writing comics. So they know what works or what doesn't. Okay, so, oh dear. Okay, there's some, okay. Anyway, I'll see the next one. I'll, I'll let you know why I said, oh dear. So Starman. For those of you, uh, right, so this is Crisis of the Crimson Kryptonite, <laughs> KKK, because <laughs> nobody actually thought of that being a big thing until recently, right, and, um, but yeah, because nobody thinks that they'll take them seriously, this is cool, so this is, stop, you're killing Superman, the Starman, this is such a cool, um, man, yeah, such a cool um, design, star. Um, yeah, anyway, so, um, um, okay, so this is cool, I think this is my second copy, so this is from Logan, um, and he's just said, yeah, bonus for the mix-up, because, um, yeah, he, he, um, oh, yeah, it's a hologram eyes, so you could see that, oh, you can actually see that, isn't that cool, is that, is that Craven the Hunter, let's see if we can see him here, yeah, Craven the Hunter, I have, I never, I don't think I thought of that before. This is probably my third copy I've owned over the years, but I, I actually now have two copies of this. This is cool. And yeah, that is actually on the cover, the prize um, sticker thing. Um, yeah, yeah. I was like, Logan basically goes, hey, I've got this cut and things for you. I said, dude, that's not enough. I'm sure, like, dude, I, you know, he messaged me. Like, I've got, and I was like, I said, no, man. No, no, no. I've got a whole bunch more, dude. So, you know, Okay, so this is from Mark 1, and so he, that's why the, you know, sorry for the mix-up this one. So thank you, Logan. I appreciate it. And that's, I mean, that's cool. I mean, like, I'd inspect it, but I think for us as, um, you know, for us as collectors and stuff, I think sometimes, I'm cheap. Like, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I don't like to let go of my comics, and if you, you know, I'm just being honest. I don't like to let go of my comics, um, and it's really hard. I mean, as a you know, someone who's in the business and you, you know, and having to let something go is, and, you know, being a fan of such a, you know, 
the art form and being a writer and a creator being you know having to let something you've spent hours researching to collect you know even if you know like say trade me off your mates are offering it you jump online and you go do i you know first you go do i have it no no first you go do i want it second i go can i afford it third you go let's check the value of it you know if it's something if it's a key thing you go and because it all comes down to is am i willing to pay what am i gonna get so all right so this lot here is from mk1 mark one as you know from is it chris i'll get it wrong but thank you chris chris always packs awesomely uh, by awesomely i mean it, it comes in a hard cardboard dudes you know when you own a shop you know what works and what's not going to work when you're sending something and so i appreciate that okay so i always eat from chris i always get these really cool um like you know like i, I actually already want this cover so how's that here's a thing that i i always kind of this is good good color kirkman art so here's the thing so i always kind of think like does the comic shop news and also you know wizard in the day but you wizard used to release the comics the first appearance of the artwork or the story like when they do like a mini story like is that cool or what so um oh it's number 20 is that where it's from okay so it's number 20 All right is this old man logan like did they rebirth rogan or is it this or is the old logan back i don't understand i just can't i just don't but like i yeah so you know you get these really cool um um i mean most people don't really pay attention to this but i do love um the cool things that this used to come they used to come to in paper um newsprint like the old comic books but now they come in in like um gloss i don't know what paper this is um but it's not newsprint right so um and so you get all these really cool you know little um covers and you learn a bit about them you know it's like a um like a quick version of um the previews but it's nicer like you got that one there with the cool i mean like seriously i could almost just frame this and put this on my wall and it'll be like yeah you know because it's it's there and i and i can get frames cheap so it's cool so um the other one here is this hopefully you know um chris appreciates this but like these these things are really cool because i get to see what's coming up because as you know i don't really pay attention apart from when i pay attention um you know when i go to pay attention and uh, apart from also when you guys start listing them on here like look at that all right so you get to see some really cool uh, and bigger versions like i mean seriously you get bigger versions of the cover art um and that was pretty cool um also you know the whole um devil's rain you get some sketch stuff and there's one with um perez Oh yeah, this is about him being diagnosed with pancreatic cancer. I don't know what when that one's from, but yeah. So there, this is Cliff Biggers. Um, so you get a bit of article as well, or interview or such. It's pretty cool. I like these. I always I always collect them. It's not they don't just yeah they just don't end up as news I mean, rubbish or something like that. So now, as you guys know, I, I put a post up and I said I, about the Batman thing. So I'm gonna leave the Batman to later, but check this out. Oh no, no, no. Let's start with yeah, let's start with this. So as you know, Gwen Pool is um like I said before, right? Gwen Pool is one of my favorite new uh, characters they actually did right. Um you know, there's it's just cool. And I'm working on something similar in the lines of that because it's not like that, but it's something that I'm going beyond what anything's anything's happening in there. But it's been something that was just popping through my head and I'm thinking I'm writing about story around it. So anyway, so this is number five. And this is cool because this is a um, a cosplay cover. Isn't that cool? And I, I just think it's really cool. This is legacy number 30. So this is number five. But man, you know, it's it's just, I don't think I have that many cosplay covers. I think that might be the only one, to be honest. So, but I'll, yeah, I think it's pretty cool. 
so that's I guess that's one of the new com new comics. Um, all right, I'm gonna leave it there. I'm gonna leave it there because I want to get to see you there. All right, so this is this is because the, I think there's a cover spoiler variant. Um, ten deaths of X Men. And ten lives of X Men. I think that's a little spoiler. I guess I don't know. So I don't know what the whole deal with the spoiler cover is, but I thought it was like a quite an interesting cover. The reason that it's quite an interesting cover is because of um, Nano, our character, uh, my character that I created a while back, probably about ten years ago. Now that we're, now we're getting in a comic book, so you know, it's quite like there's like about. Is that one, two, three sentences on that page? Four, five sentences? Six, seven, eight sentences? Right? Eight sentences on one, two, three pages. And then like one, two, three, four, five, six sentences. Right? No sentences. I know it's a visual medium. I really do. And, um, and Shane likes to expl uh, you know, say to me, it's a visual medium. You can't use too many texts. But I mean, but seriously, sometimes these guys basically leave all the work to um, to the writer. I mean, to the artist. You know, I think the artist deserves more than the writer on these books. To be honest, seriously, I do, uh, because it's yeah. Okay, the other thing. So this is a five nine nine book, right? But here's a here's a look at the amount of like it's a 599 book but look at the amount of advertising one All right i'm gonna flip it okay then you get the spread two another uh, spread explanation all right three four five Six. I was just thinking if it was a double page spread. I mean, six, seven, eight, nine covers, 10, 11, I'd say, 12, 13 pages. So for a book with nine, $5.99, there's 12 of these pages advertising so let's let's figure it out okay so let's say one oh yeah and 13 with the back so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve and thirteen so that much of this book that you're paying for i mean i'm happy with because i want the cover right uh it's basically advertising man that's like about almost 25 percent of the book is advertising but you're having to pay right 599 so if we're then counting so there's one let's go so so we missed that out because so right so that's a that was an advert page so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Right, so that's a comic, right? That's a normal standard comic. That's a 399 comic. Okay. So 22 pages, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. So basically, um, 36 pages of art and readable comic plus 13 pages of um, advertising plus the cover, right? So you guys work it out for a 599 book. And like I said, it's a variant cover. I want a variant cover. I'm happy with it. I'm just buying for the cover, right? Um, but like the whole the whole um 
value system. It's like it's 13, 13 friggin' pages of advertising in this one five nine nine book. How when when did comics become this way? Seriously, when did comics become this way? Because I, I think five nine nine is like twelve dollars or something. If I'm right, I don't know. Anyway, so that's enough of that. But I, I'm just trying to explain to you guys why. I think the business model that they've got going on, value system, and the and that's Marvel, but DC's worst, right? So DC's worst in the pricing scam, right? That's why like they don't stick to like a thirty nine nine. I mean three nine nine standard. They want to like basically throw, you know change their prices all over the place. Okay, so like I said, legacy. So this is twenty one. I'm gonna have to hang up on that one. So that's sorted out. Hopefully, I press. I was going to press cancel. I mean, and instead of like, was a decline instead of answer, and I press answer. Green go right. So okay. So uh, this is a cool cover. This is uh, Hastings um, written. See, this is three nine nine. Uh, it's um, Legacy uh, number twenty one. So Doom sees you part one. So it's number one. I think the other one was number thirty, wasn't it? Yeah. So the other one was, um, was number thirty. So, and that's legacy number three. So, this is a cool cover. I think um, it's such a, uh, yeah, I just thought it was a cool cover and I wanted to get it. Right. And look at that. I think I remember reading this a while back. It's such a cool spread. I think, yeah. Right. The art on this, on the, I think on the series is really cool. They do try to make it a bit more, um, cartoonish um, but it's it's all good I actually love this character I really do I have a hat oh look at that this is your Marvel value stamp for it for this issue clip and collect um, collect all 53 I didn't even know those those were part of this thing so somebody can explain to me what this is later on on the site about the value stamp if you got to this page I mean I mean if you got this far into the video so yeah I think it's pretty cool I mean like I, I do really like this character i bought a t-shirt for myself and for my niece and then my t-shirt shrunk a bit so i gave it to my niece so she's got two of these t-shirts <laughs> two of um gwenpool t-shirts but i do have a hat I, I i bought a hat for gwenpool all right so that's the back of that so oh look you can get a free digital copy offer as well so i think that's a value in that but i yeah i think i like the artist on this who's the artist on this Strachowski, Strachowski, and I think he's Polish. If I remember right, that's a Polish name. The reason I say it's a Polish name is because um, Strzyzinski, and plus my, I had a, one of my best mates, she was named Strzyzinski, and Strzyzinski is the writer of, um, is the creator of Babylon 5. Yeah, so this is a cut call for spread. Um, I'm working with some really cool artists, so I I get I appreciate when the, when artists do some amazing work, and I look at their artwork and I go, you know, I love it. I'm just yeah, so excited about it. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to spread this around a bit, so hopefully you guys can see that. Oops, let's undo that a bit. And the reason I want to do that is because I want to show you guys this really really cool. Is it there? No, it's there. This really really cool cover set. As you know, I've been random. I buy random now, so it's big covers. Um, but when I saw this, I thought it was really cool. And I'm going to set it up so you get, you get to see the physical comic that I, got, uh, that, that I uh, post off of the. Let me bring it closer so you can see it. Really, really good. Right. Did a post of the, of like um about when to get it and that was after I actually bought it <laughs> and so check it out isn't that cool? You got Batman at the bottom. I don't know why he looks so um, young, uh, especially when Gordon and thing looks so old. On the on this I'm in here, and he looks older there. 
his chin looks quite different there, sort of. I don't know why. But um, yeah, I mean, you got a Joker with Arkham, you got Bat Batman with uh, Batgirl and um, Robin. Um, you know, you got the Waynes. Um, you got, gosh, <sighs> Alfred and Inspector Go um, Gordon. I want Inspector Gordon. Um, Jesus. Inspector, what's his name now? It starts with C, doesn't it? Anyway, that doesn't matter. So look at the cover. And this is like this is just before I decided I was gonna make a chibi uh four issue uh not four issue but four um four connecting cover for my Templeton Torn uh for, for as a variant for Kickstarter. And it's going to cost me a bit to get printed up as singular. So I'm only going to make about five of each or even three of each. So it's be like three of, you know, <laughs> in the world only. Um, but yeah, but I'll definitely keep one set for myself. But the rest will just go into the world. So I don't, it depends on how many people want it. When we do the, uh, not the Kickstarter, sorry, my bad. Indiegogo, because we're going to... Plunge Studios has a, uh, has a um, thing on account on indiegogo so we're going to be doing it through there but isn't it a cool cover i mean seriously it's like four it's like it reminds me of what alex ross used to do uh like um you know his artwork and the problem with like and this is what's happened with uh, with young right um it got to a point where um young was so everybody's like they realized that young's artwork was popping right this is when he first started and um i think it was 2015 2014 and they put him on every single book as a variant but then it got to a point where it was like it became a bit overboard because it wasn't like it didn't serve any really good comics it was on any comic if on like even dumb comics it was on it um uh, but he's done some really cool work and and this artist let me check who this is because i didn't even know who the artwork on this it's jm is there is this uh like when i when i mean jm that's his thing there you can see that so that's his artist sign mine's an m usually i don't like to sign books but i end up putting m on there as my own and the artwork is popping this is um detective comics 1050 right this is quality work and it's a uh it's it's basically the same cover um prestige style covering that we use for all rising sun comic books and what i mean by rising sun all our comics books are printed through rising sun right and so my comics are all not glossy i left uh, i gotta figure out how to get a glossy one sometime but um but most of them they're like um medium sheen so but that's basically the same card cardstock right it's, it's a cardstock that we put on our comics all our comics come up with the cardstock because we can't compete with these guys with you know at this level but we can compete with them in quality so i mean the artwork on this is great this is good old um good old batman artwork right old dc artwork i don't mean that's what i mean when i say good old batman artwork uh, you know it's really cool and um so Right, so let me see who's the artist on this. Um, why do they have Daniel Cherry the Third still at friggin' DC? He messed up everything. For I think it wasn't he the one who messed up Vertigo. Like seriously, he like destroyed Vertigo. After thirty odd years, he like totally killed Vertigo. Okay, where's the artist name on this thing? Come on, somewhere here. Oh no, they gave Tom Taylor Nightwing. Dude could even like save himself out of Batman. Okay, all right. I'm trying to find this artist name. Where is it? Lots of advertising in this book as well. But hey, um, artwork is brilliant, and there's a lot of dialogue. Yay, actual story. So who wrote this, man? Come on. I see Cy Sperry is over at um, 
um, DC now. He worked in a really good series of um, Wish You Were Here um, from the Crossed. Right, here we go. Oh, jeez. Okay, who did I cover art? I don't even want to say who wrote this, but um, at least we know that, you know, hopefully it's, it's a good read. I might actually start, have, I mean, might actually have a read. Anyway, the, look at this. So you get 1050, but guess what? You got to go and read Batman. And, um, you know, well, Batman and Superman was famous. Is that the same story? I'm not getting confused here. Oh, no. No, wait, 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 wait. Right, so that's not that. Okay, so this is, this is, um, this has actually got like, like a preview to freaking the next comic book, which is what I'll tell you what it is. So this is cool, right? So this is um, Matthew Rose Rosenberg and Fernando Blanco is the artist. Uh, I can't find a cover artist. I mean, I'm sure I'll find it sometime and I'll post it up. But um, so this is chapter four of House of Gotham, right? If you got a 1050 book, like it's like a, you know, a, usually it's a good story, like as a comic connoisseur, I'd say. If you got a 1050 book, you start a new book, a new volume, like a new story. You don't just freaking be number four on that, right? Um, but here's the thing. So this is what confused me. So now you have another comp, like half of the book. Just over half the book, right? I mean, not over, just under half the book is a quarter of the book, sorry, a quarter of the book is actually another book, right? <laughs> it's actually another comic. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So 10 pages is a comic preview into Mark Wade's. Batman, Superman, World's Finest. Yep. Art, art is good. Dan Morrow's got, got a good artwork on that. And the colors are great by Tamara Bonvillian. But, um, yeah, dude. I mean, like like I said, start a new thing. But here we go. They're going to start it into a new book. The World's Finest number one. It's, it's, they're not... They're not... I mean, I guess they're promoting the next... I mean, like, I'm here reading Batman, and you know, you're going to get me to go go into to get the next thing. Why don't you just do a, put the other... complete the friggin' Batman story in this? Or start a new Batman story? I don't know what these people think anymore, uh, and, you know, and at DC and Marvel. I don't think they've got business-minded people anymore there. Anyway, so that's my cool, cool collection, and, um, and I, I'm grateful um for the comics i've got it um i'm not sure yeah what's gonna go on i mean seriously um i um yeah and so also thanks to logan for that one all right let's get the round so you can see it cheers logan for my spider-man 50 um, I think I've got two covers with, with the um, hol uh, Halo hol hol hologram thing. Um, thanks, for, um, Chris from Mark One. Always sending me these whenever I buy them. I just you know, love them, appreciate them, dude. If I haven't haven't said it before, I do appreciate these. But I think I'm going to put those that that on the wall as a frame. If only the name them. <laughs> Comic shop book, um, comic book shop at the back would have been cool, but it doesn't matter. Comic shop news. I used to own a comic shop, so it works for me. All right, and then so all the other ones. So yeah, it's such a like the this variant cover set. It's such a cool set. I think it's just so cool. I just wish what they should have done. Maybe not. Wouldn't work. I wouldn't like gone like put a story in there, story in there, and story in there, and story in there. And then you got, you know, they're tied in together somehow. But I guess it's a big way of doing it. Wouldn't work. But yeah, I, I just don't understand why they put the um, Batman Superman story in there. 
half story. Of course, they're trying to get you to read the, the new one that releases about Mark Wade, but meh. But anyway, thanks for watching. If you got to this far, I uh, hope you enjoyed whatever and <laughs> me going on. But I hope you enjoyed the covers because I think, and uh, yeah, st the start from um, these old comics and then these new comics. Um, but I, I, yeah, I still got to say this, like, um, you got to see this cover, right? It's one of my favorite covers because I actually owned it. So, and that's what makes me really feel really good. Like these two covers here, one from, I think one from Logan and one from um, Atlantis Books. That one's from Trade Me and that's from um, Comet. Um, so basically they're from three different places, right? So Trade Me, The Forge, um, these two are obviously from Logan, from NZTNC, Facebook, and the rest are from uh, a comic shop. So I basically supported individuals and comic shop owners spreading the love. So hopefully you guys can like spread the love when it comes to me, it comes to my books. Uh, and we'll be selling it directly from um, Comic NZ, Comic.NZ on Facebook. And also at Plunge, uh, Plunge Convention. Hopefully all the books will be there next year, but... I'm trying to make sure that we have Incredible number one, the, river, the one with that really cool artwork. All right, we'll be out this year, hopefully, but in time for, um, yeah, I'll be, still, I'll be having to sell a whole bunch of comic books before then to raise money to actually get that printed. I'm going to need another 500 bucks just to printing. So hopefully I've, I've saved up that much in time. But it doesn't help when you start <laughs> buying comics all the time and then you're trying to sell. Anyway. Kaki te ano. This is um, malfunction with the narrative. Doing it backwards.